Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December the 15th of 2019. Well, it is titled Mammatus Clouds over Nebraska. So what do we see here? Well, usually when we look at clouds, we see that their bottoms are relatively flat. And that's because of how clouds form. Generally, the water will cool at a certain temperature, and that would be at a nice uniform level up above the surface of the Earth. So all of the clouds, all of the water would condense at the same area. And that would be where the cloud starts to form. Now these clouds are a little bit different in that they're all kind of bulging down and kind of a nice rumbling appearance. And especially when illuminated by the sun from the side, then you tend to get very nice shadows and can get very beautiful images with this of these specific types of clouds. However, when the water droplets are unusually large, or the ice crystals unusually large, you can get bulging like this. And that's one of the methods that we believe forms clouds such as this. And they're then bulging down because those larger water droplets can take more energy and then more time to be able to evaporate. So the clouds end up bulging down, sort of like the udder of a cow that as they come down and sort of how they get their get their name. These are also more often associated with turbulent air, so air around thunderstorms. So when thunderstorms are forming, that's one of the ways that these can form, but they can also form in other situations as well. So clouds like this are one thing that are specific to the Earth, although as far as we know, however, other clouds form on other planets as well. So planets with an atmosphere also have a cloud. So it's not just the Earth that gets clouds and different types of clouds. But we see great storms and great clouds on the giant planets as well of the outer solar system. And of course, the planet Venus, similar to the Earth in size, is completely shrouded in clouds. So clouds can form where we tend to associate them with water as they are on Earth. But elsewhere, they can also form from other substances uh, that we'll have in terms of Venus in terms of the planets in the outer atmosphere where we can get clouds of ammonia out in the uh, outer part of the uh, outer part of the solar system in addition to clouds of water as well. So while we see the very beautiful clouds taken here on Earth, we can also remember that there are lots of other beautiful clouds out there throughout the solar system. So that was our picture of the day for December the 15th of 2019. It was titled Mammatus Clouds over Nebraska. We'll be back in tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be magnetic spiral. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.